Okay. Good morning. Um, Professor Chu from the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering. Now I've prepared this thing specifically for you, to help you. Okay. Now I remember not too long ago when I was in the exact same situation as yourself. Course selection. Why is it important? So I cast my mind back into the um, not too long ago deciding what aspect of engineering I really want to undertake. And these are the few questions that I believe was important to me back then, and I believe that it is just as important for you right now. I want to set myself up for an exciting career. I want to give myself, at the same time, I want to give myself some flexibilities in career choice when I graduate. And then, of course, at the end of, at the, end of the day, I want to be employable. I want to be relevant. I want to know what kind of industry actually can I apply myself to? What can I do? And what really is a mechanical engineering in society? Okay, so what I've done then is to uh, prepare the following few slides to help you understand how to answer these few questions that I have set for myself when I was in your shoe. Now in the next few slides, what I've done is I've gathered together some information about what mechanical engineering is all about, how we are relevant to the industry as a whole. Now I can tell you until my face turned blue that mechanical engineers are employable, but there's nothing like attaching some job advertisement together with this to support what I'm going to say. Okay? Now the first thing is mechanical engineering or mechanical engineers they are relevant to building services. Now, what do I mean by building services? Things like, you know, if you look at this shopping center here, which is not too far down the road, along Dandenong Road in Cheston, ventilation, heating and cooling, acoustics, how noisy is the place? Construction materials, why do people use the kind of materials that they use for these places? Okay, and movement of people. How do we move people from one point to another point uh, quickly and effectively. Now, if you look at these few aspects of building services, now the mechanical engineering units that we do and that we, we equip you with, things like fluid mechanics, th thermodynamics, I mean, you can read this thing yourself. Now, these are the fundamental knowledge that we equip you with in order to be, for you to be employable in these kind of services. Now, if you look at this job advertisement here, now this is local, Melbourne, and these people are looking for a mechanical engineer in building services. Okay, now what is ESD? Now ESD, as I found out, it, it means that it is, this, uh, this um, stands for ecologically sustainable development. Okay, now if you look at these units, very traditional units, very fundamental, but mechanical engineers with these skills, we ready you for the future. There's building services. The next thing is energy. Now, a lot of you would know about energy, energy ge generation, extraction of materials that will allow you to generate a kind of energy. Oil and gas, for example. Or in some cases, harnessing wind energy to deliver um, electricity to our power grid. Now, if you look at this energy industry, now, from my experience, as a mechanical engineer who has uh, worked in oil and gas industry before. Now, these are the few areas that are commonly, with the mechanical engineers actually commonly face. Acoustics, how noisy is the plant? Is it gonna be damaging to the people who are working around those areas? Mechanical vibration now, is it gonna lead to premature failure of the, um, um, the various equipment that is operating in that particular plant? so on and so forth. Now, if you look at these areas that are applicable to the energy sector or the energy industry, now, this is how we uh, in mechanical engineering actually help equip you with the various fundamental knowledge so that you will be ready for jobs that are available in the energy sector. Again, am I just making these uh, jobs out? No. If you look at the um, uh, job advertisement, again, this looks for 
mechanical project engineer in the oil and gas field. Okay? Now, if you, if you look at advertisements like this, yes, this project may actually happen in Brisbane or in the Northwest Shelf. But there are a lot of consulting engineering companies within Victoria that actually employs mechanical engineers to do the design. Okay, now, of course, you may be required to travel in those, um, uh, in those areas to do some measurements or evaluation, but invariably you find the mechanical engineers are highly sought after in the energy industry.